Hey, VV Nation, welcome to our channel. My name is Glenn, Senior Stock Market Strategist for VectorVest, and welcome to our channel. Folks, I've got five stocks that are the biggest buzz of the week. You may be surprised at some of the picks, so we're gonna go right into what my stocks are, all right? And I'm gonna give you a list, starting with Netflix. Wow, US uh, report higher rates of satisfaction in the latest survey by Evercore, as live events and gaming took a uh, look to provide a new revenue opportunities for the streaming services. Uh, Evercore now has increased its target price from 650 to 700. And the biggest thing is the sports is 60% of the current users in the US and the UK. Biggest thing, current paid subscriptions right now is 269 million worldwide. Hmm, I like that play. Next one, NVIDIA. NVIDIA is just a powerhouse stock. Everywhere you look, NVIDIA is just making money on top of money on top of money. So the company's growth story seems to be far from over as the adoption of generative AI is expected to boost global GDP and increase AI spending in the coming years. NVIDIA is far and beyond the best AI play in the market right now. We now know that tomorrow, by the time you get this video, NVIDIA will have split 10 to 1. Ryan did a great video last night talking and explaining what the 10 to 1 uh, split was all about. I did jump into NVDL. I do not think that it splits with NVIDIA price. So either I'm going to prove to myself to be a genius or a big idiot. We'll see. Um, the biggest thing, too, about this week, $3 trillion market cap. It bypassed Apple as far as market cap is concerned. That was a big thing. So I like NVIDIA. Next one is Hood. Hmm, Glenn talking about Hood and actually talking about crypto? Hmm, Robin Hood agreed to acquire Bitstamp, which is a global cryptocurrency exchange. Acquiring Bitstamp will accelerate Robin Hood's crypto expansion worldwide going to look to grow customers in the EU, the UK, and the US, and Asia, and they bought them for about $200 million in cash. Hmm. Hood has been on the rise. I think that this adds more fuel to the Hood run, and maybe I got to stop lo start looking at cryptocurrency just a little different. We'll see. Next one is Apple. Everybody knows I love Apple, but I'm never in love with Apple. Recent developments suggested the company poses a significant threat in the AI race to other technical hyperscalers that previously appeared to be leading. I stated a couple of weeks ago, keep your eyes on Apple stuff was going on in the background. They had a secret meeting with TSM. Um, they're going more towards generative AI with TSM into their new operating system. Um, the WWDC 24 is coming up. They're going to release a new, more powerful iPad Pro. Now, challenges in product sales are temporary. Why? Because China is the big buyer of everything. They did strike a deal with Baidu, which I think was one of the most important things, smartest things that they could do to get more sales in China. We looked at the last earnings. It is starting to weigh and show that they're getting more sales in China. I think that that only increases. I think Apple is a buzzworthy stock that's worth the buying. Next stock, whew, did y'all see the move yesterday on GME? Look at that, GameStop will head into the earnings, which is on 611. Um, next week, and its market cap more than doubled. That's a positive sign, even though I'm not a big fan of meme stocks. Early in the week, Gil, uh, what is it? Uh, Roaring Kitty posted an update, our unverified screenshot Reddit, indicated that he logged a daily paper gain of 78.6 million by holding on to the 5 million GameStop shares and $120,000, 120,000 June 21st calls. Now, the biggest thing about that is once he did that post, it seems like he came out of hibernation. The whole meme world woke up and just went crazy. Enough to the point that the SEC, Gary Gensler, may be looking into that as a way of pumping the stock's price higher. Hmm. I don't know where I stand on that. Uh, as of the earnings numbers, though, let's go um, historically. Uh, it is expected to report a revenue of eight hundred seventy-two million uh, to nine uh, eight hundred ninety-two million. Same source sales growth negative twenty-seven percent and an earnings of negative nine percent. Now, my uh, other people's predictions out there is that uh, GME is going to go to sixty to eighty dollars with its gamma squeeze. 
I am looking at options, open interest on it. I don't think it gets higher than $50. That's just me. But something else just got added to before I started to record this video. He's going to do a live stream on 6724. That is just going to hype this stock even more, maybe pushing it past through my $50 range. It may actually approach the $60 to $80, depending on what this live stream does, what everybody thinks about it, blah, 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 blah. But it is news driven. All right, let's take a look at these stocks in the Vector Vest system. All right, we've got GME, we've got Hood, Netflix, Apple. Along with the Hood or the crypto move, I also put uh, iBit in here, which is the ETF to buy into Bitcoin. NVIDIA is in here, but I also put in the ETF for an NVIDIA. So it's really five stocks, but I've got two additional stocks in here. As I record this video on Thursday, GME went up almost 50% in one day, closing at a price of $46.55. My prediction is going to be at about $50. But by the time you get this video, uh, Roaring Kitty will have had a live stream, and I'm thinking a ton of people are going to watch it. It actually could push it through that price of $50 maybe into the realm of that 60 to 80 dollars even before earnings on 611 we'll just have to see robin hood went up about uh six and a half percent today all my other stocks fell i think the nvidia fall is in anticipation of the 10 for one split tomorrow by then by the time you get this video it will have happened all right let's go graph these all real quick put them on a graph Put us on a six month graph. Let's go see where they all stand. GME, wow, bigly in the fast lane. Let's go see if we get followed through with the live stream that Ken Gill will do. But nice big up day, no wick, pretty little wick at the top. That means it was trading at session highs. Robinhood, no matter what I think about Robinhood, no matter what I think about crypto, bottom left, top right, fast lane, new three month high, both DPOs are moving higher. Next one, looking at Netflix, man, um, a lot of viewers, I think that this has got upside. It is going from the bottom left, top right. I think it's got a lot of upside, especially with the onset of more live streams of sports. Uh, looking at Apple, hmm, uh, WDD, WWDC, uh, the information that's going to come out of there. I think Apple's got a lot of upside. It is lower than it was three months ago, but definitely on the rise from this low Moving from the slow lane to the fast lane. All right, next one is iBit ETF for Bitcoin. Definitely in an uptrend in the fast lane down day to day. I'd like to see it take out the three month high, uh, but it is definitely on the rise. I'm keeping my eye on that. I may not like Bitcoin, but if it's going to give me an opportunity to make money, I'm going to keep my eyes on it. NVIDIA down day powerhouse stock, bottom left, top right, killer stock, the best stock out there. Far enough. The best stock out there. Down day, though, I wouldn't buy it on a down day. And the last one, NVIDIA, also the ETF. I did jump on board with the ETF prior to the split. We're going to see how that works out. But a down day today. Folks, those are five buzzworthy stocks that are making massive moves in the market that you're either going to keep your eyes on. But believe it or not, the crypto space might be something I keep my eye on. And actually, folks, GME, I may have to take a little piece of that action right there. I don't like it long term, but if it's giving me an opportunity to make some money, hell, I'm not going to be a diamond hand. I will be a paper hands. But if it can make me some paper, I'll be a paper hands. Folks, thank you for tuning in. If you're brand new in the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. Um, if you like what you saw today, hit the, hit, hit the like button. Let us know if you got some buzzworthy stocks that you're looking at, put them in the list. Put them in the comments. Let us know. Folks, this video is over. Until the next time, see ya.